this is the new Ubuntu phone operating system that we've launched here at CES this week. Um, this is our welcome screen, so this is a very distinctive way in which we're allowing the user to see something representative of the way in which they their activity, the, the uh, way in which they've been using their services. So, for example, this is showing um, a, a designed representation of how how many tweets have been received. Um, What's different about this phone is that it uses all four edges in order to allow the user to interact and access the full range of services on, on, the, on, the, on the system itself. It doesn't have any hard keys or soft keys. Um, so for example, from the left edge, um, we've got access to um, a full range of services that are used on a most regular basis. Um, going into the main um, UI itself, we can see that by going into um, the uh, range of the, the, the people lens, we can see the full uh, address book contacts that are available. But in addition to that, we can see all the different social network integration um, activity that's associated with each of those each of those contacts. So, um, by clicking on that particular contact, I can then go into that um, contact's Facebook profile directly from this part of the UI. So we have very tight um, integration with uh, various uh, different web applications and web services. Um, we also have uh, a range of different uh, parts of the UI is able to show the full range of applications, um, as well as native applications. We also have uh, web applications. So web applications on Ubuntu are um, available and can be used in a very similar way to native applications. Um, as part of this UI on the, on the, on the applications menu, we've also um, made, uh, created an ability for service partners to promote certain applications that are available to download directly by the user. So we're allowing a certain element of UI customization, so um, partners like uh, mobile carriers, for example, can give um, particular services that they think are important to their user base, prominence and profile within the main part of the UI. Um, so on the uh, on the gallery application, so this is this is a, this is a, a camera application. We can also go into the, um, the gallery. So this is an example of an application, a core application that's available um, for the phone. We can go up and down to scroll the timeline in terms of the different photos that have been taken or we can scroll across at a particular date to see what photos were taken on a particular day. Um, if we go into a, a particular photo, we can now see how we use the bottom edge of the phone. So the bottom edge of the phone is dedicated towards giving the user um, access to those services that are relevant to the application they're using at the time. So we've got an edit menu, for example, We've also got a sharing menu, so we can go directly um, and share that particular content with different um, different web services like, like Facebook, for example. We can also go into um, a range of settings from the top part. So this is a this is a, a, an overlay menu to allow the user to access sound, networks, battery, date and time. Um, we'd also go into and see the messaging activity as well. So the messaging activity is based on allowing access to um, responding to content based on a quick reply, but, you know, in terms of a text message perhaps, or um, if the message context was more Skype, then there's a way in which you can message directly with Skype. Um, the same with the same the same with Facebook as well, which um, again, so what, what you've got here is integration. Um, it, across a full range of different services relevant to messaging. Uh, what we can also talk about is using the right edge as a multitasking capability. So by using the right edge, I'm just scrolling through all the applications that I've got open right now. So the right edge is dedicated towards allowing the user to just go through all the running, all the applications that have to be running. So it's it's the main capability to allow, to allow uh, multitasking. Yeah. Uh, how does the integration with apps work? Like, uh, you know, what kind of support do you have? So we have support for both um, web applications using HTML5. Um, we also have a capability to allow uh, application developers to build and create 
uh, more richer applications that need more that need to leverage the power of the hardware using QML. So our, our SDK is um, devised to attract um, and encourage uh, uh, developers to create the best of native applications on QML as well as uh, web applications using HTML. And uh, what's the plan for availability with North America? So with North America we're talking to some interested carriers. Um, we can work with those carriers to ensure that um, the system is, a is able to be shipped at the beginning of next year, in, uh, uh, end of this year, so um, it's a question of just what progress we can make in um, this year with, with those, those organisations that are focused on that, that part of the world. And, uh, you know, any, uh, I guess, what have been the first steps right now? With getting... Right now we're all about making sure we can open source the code because we want to make it a very open platform. Um, it's about continuing discussions with handset manufacturers and carriers. Um, it's about working with the community to help us build more and more applications that will run um, as a fundamental part of the service. And it's about building an ecosystem as well as application developers um, to help ensure that there's, there's a, um, a healthy uh, set of uh, help, that there's a very good availability of um, applications for, um, uh, for users to download. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Cheers.